hotel workout uh, that you can do obviously in a hotel room so I'm trying to mimic uh, the hotel room environment here uh, we need a few little bits of equipment um, that you get in the room such as a towel a sort of like a, a wash bag trying to put some shampoo in it to make it a little bit heavy and I've also got just a, a random chair and we'll do some exercises on so we're going to try and do between 10 to 12 repetitions on each exercise we've got about 10 exercises in total and we try and do it twice uh, so it should last between sort of 16 to 20 minutes. We'll see how we get on. Um, let's start off, let's get warmed up. So on the feet, about shoulder distance, toes slightly turned out, hands out in front. So we'll do like a, a deep squat to wake up the legs and we just do a nice stretchy one over to the side, bring it back in and then over to the top. Good, so it's nice and easy, bring it across. So we're aiming for sort of 10 to 12 reps if we can, just getting that range. And as you get a bit warmer, you can just sort of go that little bit deeper. You can really feel that stretch for the obliques, do the sides, nice and steady. Good form. So we're trying to make too much noise, especially if you are in a hotel room, you're only sort of bouncing around and making too much noise. But enough so you get a little bit of a stretch out to the top. Just keep breathing in for the nose, out for the mouth. That's the one. We'll just do three more for the full set of 10. And we'll move on to our next move, which is a little bit more difficult, but I'll go through it with you. Just to warm up the upper body even more. Right, last one here then for the full 10. Cross, in, and back out. Perfect. So keep your legs slightly bent, try and touch up, stretch it out. Hands come down. We're going to do the walk out push up. We're going to walk forward. Once we get into position, across, across for the abs, and then try and keep your legs straight to walk away to the top. And reach up, so that's what I'll show you again. So coming down, walking forward into a push-up position. Do one push-up if you can, cross, cross, and then bring it back up to the top. Just trying to do 10 of these if we can. Two, keep your legs more or less straight. I'm going to spend the knees a little bit, get that stretch. Coming forward, one push-up. Obviously, if that's too difficult, come to the knees, do your push-up, but still trying to get the abs on the go. Try to keep your legs straight. Up to the top, good, three, let's keep it going, get the stretch, let's walk it out, ready, push up, knees, knees, that's it, keeping it steady, up to the top, so should we get a little bit warmer now, it's a great workout to do, it's not got much time, not got much equipment, just keeping the whole body going, bring it back in, up to the top, right, we've got five more, so let's feel that burn now, through the chest, shoulders, triceps, whole body comes down. Yep. Cross, cross, bring it back in. Back up, right, four left. Getting that stretch. All the way in. Push up, that's it. Cross, cross, all the way back in. Woo. Right, two more if we can. Then have little sips of water if you need to. Rather than big gulps and feel sick doing this, that's the one. Bring it back in. Right, last one. Bringing it in. Walking forward. Push up, that's it. Cross, cross. Back in. And back up. Woo. So you can rest for sort of 15 to 20 seconds in between. Just to get your breath back. Have a sip of water, give yourself a little wipe down if you need to. Right, so I've got my wash bag. I put a, a shampoo in there, so it makes it a little bit heavier. So you can always Try and get as much energy as you can to make it heavier. You can use the chair. So feet about shoulder distance. Hold the wash bag towards the chin. Take a full sit down. Stand up. Overhead. That's the one. So using the resistance of the wash bag to drive it up. Get 10 to 12 reps. Three. That's the one using the legs on the lower part and arms on the upper part. Four. That's it. Straight up. That's the one. Five. So nice and easy. Nice total body exercise. You can just do this with no wash bag, which makes it more intense if you do. Keep the core strong. Deep breath in, try and breathe out the top. Let's do four more. Bringing it in. Good, three more. Getting that range all the way up. Yeah, two. And up. 
Last one. And then, nice. So again, 15 to 20 seconds. Just get your breath back, have a little drink if you need to. So we've already got the chair lined up. Let's put the back of the arm. So I'm gonna use the arm of the chair, but you could use, depends what sort of chair you've got. The further your legs are away from the object, the harder it is. So to start off with, keep your legs bent, chest up, shoulders down, all the way down, 90 degrees, and then push back up. So just waking up through back of the arms. Classic, but very effective move. And breathe out the top. So deep breath in. Five, that's the one. Then we're doing 10 to 12. Six, get that range. Seven, all the way up. Eight, nine, you got it. All the way down. It's gonna make it harder. See how my legs straighten out. One more here. And up. Nice. So we feel that burn to the back of the arm to the triceps. Whew. Right, so let's get the size going now, the obliques to help us twist. So we'll use our wash bag again. Let's come down. Whew. Right, so legs slightly bent. We're going to use the wash bag. Again, 12 reps. Tap. Twist this right across. We're going to make it harder. Feet off the floor. Try and breathe out every time. I'm going to tidy up to you. Body about 45 degrees. Four. That's it, right across. Looking where you're going each time. Waking up right through the obliques, also known as the old love handles. That's the one. Right across. Let's do five more. Really good. Four. Again, you can do this just with body weight, which I can show you in a minute. I did, though, don't use a little bit of resistance. That's the one. So for the last rep, I'll show you if I wasn't using that. Tap. Tap. Either side, if you haven't got the wash bag or if it's too difficult. Right, 20 seconds recovery. Let's go back into our next move now if we can. So we're going to use another bit of kit that you can find in any hotel room, which would just be the, the towel. So this is a good back exercise. It's sometimes hard to work your back when you've not got much equipment. So you can do push-ups, obviously, but this is going to be wearing the opposite muscle group. So see what I'm going to do here, guys. I'm going to make the towel. I'm going to split into two. Two again. Get a grip, like so. You're going to lay on your front. Legs down, arms are straight, just have you hovering just above the floor, and then you're going to pull it down, squeeze the back of your shoulders, imagine you're trying to pull the towel into two bits. Bring it in, two, that's the one. So it looks really simple, when done correct, is really effective exercise, but you have to pull the towel into two bits. 12 reps in, good, five, keep pulling it apart, squeeze, that's it. Six, keep breathing. Seven, that's the one. And there we go, eight. Keep the head neutral, don't let the head to be too high, keep looking down, all the way in. Let's do three more. Squeeze back in, good, two more. And last one, and back in. Whew. It's quite handy you've got a towel, so if you sweat a lot like me, you can use it as a towel as well, sweat towel. Whew. Right, let's go into our next move. So we're gonna get the heart rate back up now. Back to lower body. So, alternate lunges, watch this. We'll start with the right leg, hands on the hips. So you do a reverse lunge into a knee raise. Then you do the left side. Knee comes down, that's one. Back to the right side. Low, back up, that's it. Low as you can. Put the stretch in the quads. Low, back in. So you're gonna feel the heart rate increase. Obviously legs, biggest muscles in the body, so it burns the most calories. Ooh, that's the one. Nice and low. Drive it in. If it, this bit's too much, you can just do the lunge on its own. That's fine. But if you're going to try and do like a two in one like I'm going to do today, if you can, raise up the knee. That's it. Add an extra if you can manage it. Down, raise it up. Last little bit. Remember doing 10 to 12 reps. We've got three more to do the 10. That's the one. Coming down. Yep. Last bit. All the way in. Last one each side. Knee down, coming up, down, and up. Remember, 15 to 20 seconds, a little shake out, a little sip of water. We're going to our next move, so we'll stay standing. Let's use the wash bag again. This is the wood chop from low to high. So, I'm going to hold the wash bag like so, straight arm, past my right knee, watch my right foot, arm stays straight, up. You see that right foot turning out, so you get a nice stretch through the sides, nice total body move. 12 reps, 
reach it up four. That's the one. Five. So if you're right-handed, this is probably more comfortable side. Reach it up. Really turn that foot out and try and use your abs as much as you can. And that movement, looking up to the top. Eight. That's the one. Nine. Getting that range. Ten. Let's do two more. Stretch it. So we've got a mini squat into a stretch. And up. So you might need a little breather before you go into the side. This side might not feel as natural. Let's say you find this, so feet again, shoulder distance, bend the legs slightly from this position and going up. That's the one. Reach up to the top. Two, getting that range. Three, all the way up. Good, four, five, that's the one. Good, six, stretch it. Seven, yep, eight, Nine, get low and reach up, use the abs. Let's do two more. Yep, bring it in and down. Perfect. And then we'll go straight to a nice stretchy one. We're going to like a, a downward dog position. So hands down, keep the backside high, doing the stretch here. And then we're sort of going to roll into it, do the stretch and then back in. You think it's too much, you just hold this position. Otherwise, you sort of roll into it and stretch out the abs. Two, good. So sort of like a a downward dog into a cobra, coming down nice and low, stretch it up, and back in. Nice stretch you want, as I said, you can just keep it there if you need to. Otherwise, we're coming up, that's it. Bring it back down, try and get the heels down, otherwise, we're going to come down. The lower you come down, the harder it is, that's it. Nice stretch you want, big pull, so we go down again. Nice, there we go, back in. Let's do four more if we can. Coming down, get that range, all the way up. So you get a bit of sweat on now, all the way down, reach it up, that's it. Two more, then we've done the first round, all the way in, that's it. Back in, right low as we can, and down, and sit back, just have a little stretch. So that's complete the first round, guys, have a little set. So if you really, Short on time, you can do one round, but ideally, we're gonna be trying to do two rounds. So you can see, you get a bit of sweat on, have a little wipe, then we'll go straight back to our first exercise. Normally, I find you can go a little bit deeper, a little bit, a bit more intense on the second set, because you know what to expect. Whew. So, feet wide, let's go a little bit deeper with the stretch now. So, wide squat, let's get nice and open on the inside thighs, and then stretch. That's the one. Back to this one again. Mobilizing, good one. Really big stretch, fill it on the lats, through the sides. So you got hands to the prayers, you do the squat, and then reach over, that's it. Go a little bit further now. Three. Across, that's it. Really nice stretch you want. Nice and low. Cross. That's it. All right, five more guys. We're going to be doing 10 to 12 each reps. Each set, should I say. Oh. That's the one, good, four more. We got this, easy. Down, back in, three more. That's the one, good, two. And again, you've noticed it's not too loud, so it's not too much jumping around, being noisy if you are in a hotel room. You can keep it nice and quiet, just get on with your workout, and back in. That's the one, bring it in there. And personally, I like to do this workout in the morning, so, if I can, then I've got you too heavy, nice and light on the stomach, do the workout and then maybe breakfast after. Whew. Right, so straight into our next move. So obviously the walkout push up, it's a little bit harder this one. Try and keep your legs more or less straight. Reach up, coming down, so a bit of a stretch on the back of the legs. Walk it in position, and that's it. One push up, working the upper body and then you go across, across. Try and keep your legs straight, reach it back up. Remember, if it's too much on the toes, you can come to your knees. Come back here, let's walk it out. Push up, that's it. Cross, cross, walk it back in. Get that range. Tap, nice. Hands down, forward, forward, forward. You got it, guys. Breathe. Body, cross, cross, and back in. So you're just get a bit of abs in there as well. Good, three. So bring it back in. So this one takes a little bit longer than the other ones because it's a two, two part. You get your push up and you get your knees across. Good news is, guys, this is the last round. Reach it up, 
keep your legs straight, maybe bend the knees a little bit, in position, one push up, cross, cross, bring it back in, reach it up, right we've got five left, bring it down, forward, 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 yep, that's the one, cross, cross, bring it back in, reach it up, we've got four more, doing well, stretch it, in position, whole body comes down remember, that's it, cross, cross, all the way to the top, reach, right last three, let's complete the set, we're nearly done, it's burning now, these are the most important reps, when it's getting a bit uncomfortable, that's it, cross, cross, back up to the top, Woo. right two left, we are nearly there, stay with me, get that stretch, forward, 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 yep, cross, cross, bring it back in, last one, we can do this, Woo. reach it, down, 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 forward, 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 stretch it, that's it, let's hope we don't get that one, knees, knees, and then you've got that, bring it back up, Woo. reach it up, let me breathe up to 20 seconds, ideally, if you're really struggling, 30 seconds, but try and keep it 20 if you can, right, the wipe down, take our wash bag, hopefully you've got quite heavy, you put some stuff in there, so, feet short distance, in line with your chin, full sit down and then so you're working lower body and then upper body with the press too. Deep breath in, keep the stomach sucked in. Three, that's the one. Drive it up. Four, we got it. No, I'm solid. Five, easy. Six, that's the breathing. I'm gonna breathe at the top. Seven, yep, need to go. Good, eight, all the way up, yep, nine, ten, let's do two more, we got this, as you can, breathe, last one, and to the top, 20 second recovery, doing well, Woo. little wipe down, alright, so we're going to go straight to our dips now, so we've got the, the chairs already set up, remember we say if you make it harder, legs are straighter, otherwise you keep your legs in, Ideally, you have the grip so your palms are facing you. Feet out, shoulders away from the ears, engage the abs. Deep breath in, deep breath out as you come up with the back of the arms too. Nice and steady, three, four. Keep looking forward, you got it. Five, get that range. Six, seven, you're gonna make it hard, remember, feet out. Eight, nine, yeah, ten. Two more, last one, and up. Good set, Woo. very nice. So, let's come down with the abs going with the, actually we're going for the towel first time, so let's come down, so this feels. So we're going to work to the back, so coming down. Here we go, we're going to do it in order. So, let's go for the twist, you've got the wash bag again, across. So you're working hard, your brain goes a little bit, that's the one. Two, nice and easy. In, in, good, right across. And you can do this without the wash bag, but try and do it with, try and challenge yourself a little bit. You want to feel that burn, right across. Here we go, six more. Across, yep, yeah. five. Good, four. Three, yep. Yeah. Here we go, two. Do one more each side, ready, and in. Now we can use the towel onto our front for the towel pull. So we're going to to recover. Use up a wipe, so we're going to double it up, double up again, you got it? So land on your front. And remember the key point is, you're trying to imagine you're trying to break this towel into two bits. So if you don't pull it hard, you won't get as much resistance. So pull it into two. Right, let's lay down. Hands out in front. Keep pulling and then squeeze it back. It's a bit like a, a lap pull down that you might see in the gym. And pull it in. Heads are neutral, so I'm not looking up too much. If heads are neutral, keep pulling that apart. Squeeze, that's the one. Three, all the way in. Four, get in that range. That's the one. And you breathe it out as it comes in. Let's do six more, keep pulling. That's the one. Good, five. Here we go, four. Here we go, three. Yep, two, squeeze, and last one. Woo, 
Very nice. So we go back standing again if we can. We went back to the lunges, didn't we? So again, just body weight, hands on the hips. We're doing the lunge with the knee raise. So back up to the top. Alternate side, trying to get that knee low and then straight up. Good one. Low as you can. You got it. Good two. Low drive. Yep. Good three. All the way up. Yep. Four. So put the heart rate increase again. That's it. Halfway there, we've got five more if we can. Yep. Four. So drive it in. Good. Three. Yep. Two. Last bit. Watch that balance. Trying to focus on something out in front if you can. Down and up. Good. One more for luck. Watch the floor. Down, yep. One more here, and in. Oof. Very nice. We went to the wood shop, so give yourself 20 seconds. Oof, really good, guys. All right, so we went from low to high, didn't we? So get your wash bag with the products inside, as many as you can. Shoulder distance. We're gonna hold it like so, palm facing each other. Low position, and then oof, reach it up. That's it. Low to high, foot turns out. Three, four, you got it. Five, reach up. Six, up. Seven, eight, low as you can, pass that right knee, then straight up. That's the one. Keep that core super strong. Last two, last one, and up. Just need a little pause in between, in one. Right, we're near at the end, guys. Stay strong for the last little bit. Right, other side. Right, from here, let's go up. There we go, reach it up. Two, so you might not feel as natural this side if you're right-handed. Not always. Till you get on, reach it up. Five, low position, toe comes up, good. Six, great top body, one of my favorites. Great for you sports, like tennis or football. That's it, we're gonna put our body together. Last four, three, yep, two, last one, and up. Right, so before we go into our Cobra downward dog stretch, let's do a for a, for a bonus one in there, using the wash bag, let's do an ab exercise. This is some crunches elevated with the legs. So cross the feet, like so, they stay still, hands behind the head, and then try and bring the wash bag up towards the knees. Down back up, so legs staying still. Really hitting the top part of the abs. Three, that's the one. Four, we got it all the way in five. And back in, so I've thrown this on the second round, but you can do this in the first round as well if you wanted to. Back in, eight, that's the one. Nine, yep, back in the ten, two more. Yep, last one. And then, looking good. Right, nearly done, guys. So, nice stretch you want to finish. So, we're going from the downward dog into the cobra. So, get in position. Pretty much so, get that nice stretch. Reach it up, get nice and low. Coming up, stretch it out. That's it. Bring it back in. Stretch it out. Nice and low. Stretch up the abs. And bring it back in. That's it. Get that pull right down the backs of the legs. Coming down low as you can, throw the stretch, and back in. Three, here we go. Reach it up, that's it, coming back. Okay, if it's too much, just hold this position, that's fine. Otherwise, you're coming in. Stretch, bring it back. Last five, all the way in. That's it, looking good. Last four to finish. That's it, back in. Last three. Really good. Back in. Good, two. That's the one. And last one to finish. Back in. Really good. Come to the knees. 
Sit down, a little stretch out. Oh, really good work there, guys. You see, let's get the heart rate going. Should last you between sort of 15 to 20 minutes. And again, do the two rounds to complete. So I hope you enjoyed that. And um, so give it a try. If you've got any questions, you can get me on my website, www.slim-gyms.com. Um, and I can talk to you about doing workouts together, online sessions, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.